In this video, I'll show you how to show average order value in GA4. So for some reason, Google Analytics 4 doesn't show it by default. Hello, data people. My name is Robert, and I'm here to help you understand and analyze data to make better decisions in e-commerce. So to see it, we have two ways to do it. So first, we can go to monetization, and then here you can come to a monetization overview. And if you have the rights, you can click on this pen icon here my website is not e-commerce that's why you don't see anything here but you need to have admin rights to do this so from here you scroll down you can add a card here so if, from the cards from here we go to other cards and now we can search for average there you go we have this arppu so if you select that one and add the card and now the card should appear here somewhere let's scroll down there you go. It's at the bottom right now. Actually, what you can use is this average purchase revenue. So this is what I would be using. And you can just drag this one somewhere higher up if you're not happy that it's at the bottom here. So this is the one. It says overview for some reason, but that's basically what I've added. So now if I drag this one here, I can see it a bit higher up here. I would delete some of these. Some of them are not really useful anyway. And then just scroll to the top and don't forget to save this report. Save changes to the current report. Yeah, I'm going to choose that one. Okay, save. By the way, data is not created equal and you should be only looking at data that is relevant to your role. That's why I've created the cheat sheet which shows you the most important metrics and KPIs specific to different e-commerce roles. You can download it by clicking on the first link in the video description. The second way you can display average order value in GA4 is to use explorations. And you can get there by going in this menu on the left and just click on explore. Here you can just pick free form or I already have something. So I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to add a tab here, free form. So from here, what we need to do is we again come to metrics from here. Let's add a metric average. And if I scroll down, there should be average revenue somewhere here. Here you go, average purchase revenue. We need that one, import. And now, for example, we could create a report here with uh, just mobile users. And then let's put the average purchase revenue. So there you go. This is the average purchase revenue for mobile users specifically. And by the way, this is something I cover more in depth in my GA4 e-commerce course. And I really focus on the analysis and getting insights from the data, leaving out all the techie stuff to, to other courses. For more information, just check the link in the description. 